Over in the Jungle, a Rainforest Rhyme by Marion Burks, illustrated by Jeanette Canyon. I have a feeling this is similar to Over in the Meadow, which I used to sing to my kids. So let's try it that way. Over in the jungle, where the trees greet the sun, lived a mother marmoset and her marmoset won. Swing, said the mother, I swing, said the one. So they swung and they hung where the trees greet the sun. Beautiful pictures. Over in the jungle, wearing wings of shiny blue, lived a morpho butterfly and her little morphos too. Flit, said the mother, we flit, said the two. So they flitted and they fluttered, wearing wings of shiny blue. That is an amazing blue color. Over in the jungle on a leafy canopy lived a noisy mother parrot and her little parrots three. Squawk, said the mother, we squawk, said the three. So they squawked and they walked on a leafy canopy. The colors are just so vibrant in this book. Over in the jungle on a rainforest floor lived a leaf cutter ant and her little ants four. Scurry, said the mother, we scurry, said the four. So they scurried and they hurried on a rainforest floor. Over in the jungle near a big beehive lived a mother honey bear and her little honeys five. Scramble, said the mother, we scramble, said the five. So they scrambled and they rambled toward a big Beehive. I don't know what the bees are thinking about that. Over in the jungle, curled around some mossy sticks, lived a long mother boa and her little boa's six. Squeeze, said the mother, we squeeze, said the six. So they squeezed and were pleased, curled around some mossy sticks. It's funny how it's number six, too, because they're all curled around it. Over in the jungle in a bromelade heaven lived a poison dart frog and her little frogsy seven. Hop, said the mother, we hop, said the seven. So they hopped and they plopped in a bromelade heaven. Over in the jungle where she knew how to wait lived a mother ocelet and her ocelets ate. Pounce, said the mother. We pounce, said the eight. So they pounced and they bounced and they learned how to wait. Eight of them. Wow, that's a busy mom. Over in the jungle, hanging from a heavy vine, lived a super slow sloth and her little sloth's nine. Creep said the mother. We creep, said the nine. So they crept, then they slept, hanging from a heavy vine. Look at them all. Sloths move very slowly. I feel like they're always smiling though. Look at the smiles on their faces. Over in the jungle, in the rainforest den, lived a father howler monkey and his little howler's ten. Hoot, said the father, we hoot, said the ten. So they hooted and they hollered in the rainforest den. Oh my goodness, look at this page. Over in the jungle, come on, let's take a peek. In the busy rainforest, they're playing hide and seek. Find us, said the children, from ten to one. When you find all the creatures, then this rhyme is done. Howler monkeys, nine sloths, eight ocelots, seven poison dart frogs, six boas, five honey bears, four leaf cutter ants, three parrots, one morpho butterfly, one marmoset. Now that's a challenge to find all of those in this beautiful picture. Over in the 
jungle. She's got the words in the book. You can even play it on the piano. And she talks about how many babies do they really have in the rainforest community. And about each of the animals in this book, about the rainforest. Marmosets are the smallest monkeys in the rainforest, only seven to 12 inches tall. Their habitat is high trees where they swing from tree to tree, grabbing food with their little claws. They eat spiders and other insects, as well as fruits, birds, eggs, and lizards. Morpho butterflies are brilliant blue with large wings that catch the light and make them shine. Adult morphos flit from fruit from one fruit to another, drinking the nectar of rotting fruit with their straw-like proboscis. Parrots are noisy, intelligent birds that can always find food in the rainforest because their heavy hooked bills can scoop out fruit and crack seeds. Parrots fly together in pairs or small flocks and like to walk and squawk in the trees. Leaf cutter ants, can you see the ants? Very small there are fascinating rainforest insects. They scurry around looking for leaves, which they cut and bring back to their underground colonies where they fertilize them with saliva. This causes fungus to grow, which then serves as their food supply. Interesting. Honey bears, you can see the honey bear there. He looks like he's going right at that flower. Also called kingagus, have long tails that they use in climbing as they scramble clumsily around the canopy, looking for fruit, insects, and honey to eat. Obviously, the furry kingajou is known as the honey bear because a favorite food taken from the bee's nest is honey. Boa constrictors, can you, can you see that right there? Are snakes up to 12 feet long. They live in the understory of the rainforest where they eat meat, rats, mice, lizards, fish, birds, and wild pigs. When they are ready to strike, their fangs pop out and they squeeze their prey. Oh, my goodness. Poison dart frog is right here. There are many species of frogs in the rainforest, but the one chosen for this book is the poison dart frog, whose skin is so dangerous that native hunters use it to coat their hunting arrows. Oh my goodness. The female hops long distances to put her tadpole babies into a bromelet high in the treetops for safety. And then the ocelots, right? Can you see the ocelot right there? are medium-sized spotted cats of Central and South America. They look like small leopards and often stretch out on tree branches, spying on other animals. Graceful, fast hunters, they are most attractive, active at night and pounce on their prey. Sloths are slow-moving animals that creep around in the canopy. They have long, coarse fur that is so damp that moss and algae grow on it. This helps the sloth hide from its enemies. Sloths spend most of their lives hanging upside down even when they sleep. Howler monkeys are named for their loud hooting calls, which can be heard up to three miles away. The male monkey's roar is the loudest and warns other monkeys to stay away from his territory where his group is living and feeding, mostly on leaves in the canopy. Jungle is an amazing place. Tips from the author, tips from the artist. I mean, really, those colors are just so amazing that she puts in this book. There's a page about them, Marion Beeks and Jeanette Canyon. Over in the jungle, a rainforest rhyme. Happy reading.